It was flying much lower at 40,000 feet, making it a dangerous potential threat to civilian aircraft. But now we are learning that U.S. military pilots who approached the craft have given conflicting accounts of what they saw. This new reporting coming in now from CNN national security reporter Natasha Bertrand. Uh, Natasha, so this is interesting. This is kind of unusual that these pilots saw different things and that is sort of, I guess, adding to the mystery of all this. Yeah, not even the pilots apparently were really able to identify what they saw. And just to take you back for a sec, on Thursday, the uh, the U.S. defense officials sent F-35 fighter jets up to try to figure out what this object was that was flying around near Alaska. Those pilots, we have learned, have given very conflicting accounts of what they actually experienced, with some pilots saying that the, the object interfered with the plane's sensors, other pilots saying that they didn't really experience that, other pilots saying that when they looked at the object, they could identify no identifiable uh, identifiable propulsion system, and they did not know how it was actually staying in the air, cruising at that altitude of about 40,000 feet. So this has all added to the Pentagon's wariness of describing in more detail what this object actually is until they can get more information uh, through the debris that they are recovering right now. And what do we know about the efforts to recover uh